हेलो एवरी वन अ वॉम वेलकम टू यू ऑल फ्रॉम एच डी टी यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम कनिष्का रहेजा फ्रॉम द फैकल्टी ऑफ अलाइड हेल्थ साइंसेज वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर साइंस इन आर दिस ई लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइज एंड पॉटिबिलिटी कंप्यूटर्स आर क्लासिफाइड मेनली इन टू फोर टाइप्स on the basis of size that are super computers mainframe computers mini computers and micro computers let us firstly discuss about the super computers super computers are the most fastest and expensive computers they are the fastest calculating device ever invented can work on the speed of nanoseconds or picoseconds mostly used by governmental agencies and consist of thousands of integrated processors they are large and have multiple cpus and can handle many instructions in parallel they are used for multiple complex calculations and can be used for weather forecasting nuclear science and rocket launching some examples of supercomputers are summit sierra deep blue param uva 6 etc now comes to the mainframe computers they are large expensive computer capable of simultaneously processing data for hundreds or thousands of users used to store manage and process large amount of data that need to be reliable secure and centralized usually housed in closed sized cabinet can be used by more than 100 users simultaneously used specially in banks airlines and railway reservations they are used to handle huge amount of data and information as supercomputers are used to handle few critical tasks mainframe perform multiple instructions in parallel from multiple users they are also having multiple task and processors they are typically used by large organizations for bulk data processing examples of these types of computers are ibm z univac etc next are the mini computers they are mid range computers works well on distributed data processing systems it can be used by more than 50 users simultaneously specially used for making network server they are reliable machines capable of working 24 hour a day they lie somewhere between mainframe and micro computers they are typically multi storage systems and have more memory and they have larger storage capacity than micro computers they are used as web servers database and gaming servers examples of these types of systems are magnum vex etc micro computers are typically single user single cpu system used at home schools shops etc they are further classified as personal computers workstations laptops mobile embedded computers personal computers are most common computers with monitor keyboard and mouse typically kept on a disk they are mostly used for browsing gaming learning or for small business they are used by single person at a time workstations are the desktop computers with higher memory and processing power they are more expensive and are used for designing animation and complex calculations laptops are portable computers which integrate all components of a computer in a single notebook hence they are sometimes called as notebook computers 
we also have today smartphones touch screen tablets which can easily be carried anywhere while they were initially be meant for limited capacity but now they are used for gaming videos and high end cameras many of the devices used today are having embedded systems like smart TVs cars vehicles watches and microwaves they are typically programmed to perform some set task to be performed by particular devices well known manufacturers of microcomputers are dell apple samsung sony toshiba and hp here are the list of main characteristics of computers they are having fastest speed and accuracy small in size they are easy to operate easy to move cheaper we can use desktop computers as a single user and multi user environment so today in this lecture we discussed about the classification of computers on the basis of size and portability in our next lecture when we meet we will be discussing about the classification of computers on the basis of signals or work and on the basis of purpose till then keep learning keep growing see you next time